Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the newly announced color of the year for 2020 from the Pantone Color Institute. It's known as 19-4052, but it's also known as Classic Blue. So our friends at Pantone have sent us a limited edition 2020 Classic Blue swatch book. So we're gonna be taking a look at it and then also using it to mix our own Classic Blue for a one color letterpress print. And for those of you who are interested in having a little bit of Classic Blue on your own business card, we're going to be running a giveaway. So you're gonna to wanna to watch till the end of the video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think and enjoy the show. With 2019 coming to an end, Pantone has decided that Classic Blue is going to be the color of the year for 2020. Coinciding with this announcement is the release of this limited edition swatch book from Pantone. This newly updated formula guide features a few pages on the history of how the color of the year is decided, as well as highlighting classic blue with the related cross-reference codes for various industries. 19-4052 is the pigment and coating number, print and packaging will match to 2154C, and web and mobile designers can use hex code 0F4C81. Today we'll be creating classic blue using letterpress ink on an uncoated cotton paper, so we'll be referencing 2154U from the uncoated formula guide to mix this color. The Pantone formula guide tells us that we'll need a ratio of three base inks, 56.95 parts dark blue, 7.54 parts yellow 012, and 35.51 parts transparent white. We have all three of these base inks, but we're actually going to substitute transparent white for opaque white. This is a letterpress technique that helps us mix the color to appear more solid and accurate. Knowing when to do this is a bit of a letterpress trade secret, as you don't always want to make this change. The values in the Pantone formula guide are equivalent to a percentage and when added up equal to 100. These values can be multiplied or divided depending on the amount of ink that you want to mix. The formula is intended for offset printing which is quite different from letterpress printing and we're also printing with rubber based inks instead of oil based inks. When Pantone describes Classic Blue, they've mentioned that it's a shade that is reminiscent of the sky at dusk. The base inks of yellow and blue are the perfect combination to fully realize this concept. The yellow hue of a setting sun combined with the depth of a dark blue truly bring this concept to life. With each amount of base ink weight on a scale, we can begin to combine all three, making sure to mix very thoroughly. Next, we'll dab the ink out onto a sheet of cotton paper that we'll be printing with. The density of ink will also play a part in the final print, 
but this mix looks to be right when compared to this watch. Today our printing plate is a CNC machined copper die crafted to perfection from a simple PDF vector file. With the ink ready to go, I'll start by adding the color to the inkwell on our letterpress. I'll warm the ink up and let it move from the well to the docker roller to the form rollers and cylinder. Our copper artwork die is positioned on the base and set into place for printing. For flat, solid areas of color like this, I'll skip feed the letterpress so that twice as much ink is printed on each sheet with every impression. At first glance, our print is looking good, so I'll run a few more through and then we'll see how it looks compared to the Pantone swatch. So there we have it, Pantone's 2020 color of the year that we've mixed and matched perfectly to a brand new Pantone matching system swatch book. So let us know what you think about the color of the year. If you leave a comment in the section below letting us know how you feel about it, then you'll be entered to win a free set of business cards that feature classic blue printed letterpress. We're going to be choosing two winners to win 100 free cards featuring letterpress printed classic blue. All you have to do is once again, leave a comment. Let us know what you think of this new color. And of course, if you have any other questions about printing or letterpress in general, also leave your question in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. So of course, we have a ton of more content coming your way and you don't wanna miss out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.